Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Whenever you are searching any job, it may be SAP Business Analyst or it may be SAP Consulting, it is very important how you prepared your resume. Because on the basis of your resume, you are going to get maximum calls or you are going to get minimum calls. So today we will discuss some important areas when you are going to prepare your resume. And this in this particular tutorial, I'm going to explain how you are going to build your resume for user profile, particularly SAP Analyst profile. Then in another video, I will explain how to prepare the uh, resume for consulting but let me clarify here when you are going to prepare your resu resume or when I'm going to address this particular uh, scenario because resume I believe it is not standardized that means whatever I'm going to tell you today it can't be applicable to all the viewers who are watching this particular video so resume should be fully customized as per individual like my resume can't be exactly the same exactly another consultant's resume on the basis of my skill my expertise i will build my resume on the basis of their or he, uh, her or his uh, profile uh, as per their expertise they are going to build their resume so i am going to address here some important areas or important points which you can include in your resume so, but don't think that it, you will just copy paste or exactly you are going to prepare in the same way so please keep in mind this is very very important disclaimer Whenever you are going to search any job, so for your reference, I have taken here two profiles. So one is related to order to cash. Again, it is related to SAP and list role and another one is procurement. So what happens in the process is whenever you are going to apply for a particular job or anyone is applying for a job, no HR consultant or HR person is going to read your resume. So we have uh, uh, in every company or in HR, they have the ATS application is there. So through this ATS application, if your resume is going to be shortlisted, then you are going to get the interview calls. And how our purpose is how to prepare the resume so that it will be tracked in that particular application or in the ATS application. Because on daily basis, how many resume one HR person is going to get? Maybe 1000 or more than that. So do you think that they are going to read each and every line of your resume? like if they are going to get 1000 so which is absolutely not possible that's why it is highly required that you are going to build your resume in such a way that so that it will be tracked in the application so every job profile having its job description you can see this area is known as your job description so every company whenever they have some requirement they are going to post here in the job sites and they, that we are saying that job description so if it is o2c they have some requirements if it is procurement to payment right so here also they are looking so it is basically what they are looking from one candidate and your resume is your that means the tool where you are going to market yourself if both the requirements are going to match with each other then you can you can say that my resume is shortlisted or you can expect the initial call from the hr person for the scrutiny purpose too now how to prepare the resume i have seen that resume like people they have prepared the resume like two to three pages when you are going for initial uh, interview point of view like I i'm expecting that you have let's say one year two years experience so in that case don't prepare resume too lengthy it should not be like two three pages resume the resume should not be more than i believe more particularly when you are looking for the analyst role it should not be more than one page or maximum two pages and don't stuff their unnecessary things, right? So I have prepared one sample resume, which you can, uh, you, in that way you can prepare in that. But again, I'm not claiming this is the best resume. As per my expertise, as per my experience, I just added few points. So you may add that one, but you may, uh, you may need to do the necessary modification in your resumes, right? So that you will get the, the purpose is you, you will prepare the resume in such a way that it will get the maximum visibility. So I believe that whenever you are preparing your resume, make sure that you are going to show in the resume whatever is genuine and what you know actually. It's, it's, it's not like you just got a copy of resume somewhere and you do the, all the necessary copy paste. So it should not be like that. Uh, when you are going to prepare your resume, make sure that the things which are you are good or only the things you know only show those things but simultaneously you have to also keep in mind that you have to add all the requirements or all the skills what you have so that the resume will get the maximum visibility for that purpose uh, and secondly here one important point is like you will expect more than 30 percent questions in your interview from your resume because here interviewer want to know actually you 
work in the different systems or they want to know actually you have the real experience or not if you are showing some experience if you don't have experience then on the basis of academic they are going to ask the questions but when you are going to add the experience or if you are already experienced candidate then chances are there you will get maximum interview calls so for that purpose first you have to make sure that what is the job requirement from the job description and accordingly prepare your resume don't make a standard resume that for every job you are going to uh, send or you are going to apply that resume so if there is a requirement of procurement and in your resume let's say nothing is there procurement profile so obviously recruiter is not going to consider your profile maybe you are having other areas but procurement part is not there or let's say p2p profile is not there so whenever you are looking for a particular profile make sure that whatever they are expecting it should be there in a resume again provided that whatever you are showing you should have the knowledge if you don't know anything on, on that particular then learn it but don't show any fake experience because tomorrow when you will be there in interview so maybe definitely you will get the interview calls as you have added all the stuffs in your resume so you will get the interview calls but during your interview your, your performance will not be good because you have shown the fake experience or the you have shown the fake informations so that time unnecessary you will get the negative feedback so make sure that whenever you are going to show any resume or you are going to prepare your resume maximum information should be there in your resume in the first phase itself and if possible make it one page resume or maximum one and a half particularly i'm addressing today sap and list role in case of consulting if you have more experience then resume may be lengthy but it should not be more than two pages or maximum like someone having let's say 15 plus years experience it may be three or maybe not required two pages because no one having the time to go through each and everything your resume starting from your uh, academics from the high school all this uh, school level so all these things are not required right so the left portion of the resume you have your name and make sure that the photo should be there and the photo should be professional photo right then you should have your email id right now i'm in the left corner then your mobile number definitely you need to add your linkedin linkedin profile because most of the time your rec recruiter is going to check you in your linkedin right so that's why make sure that if you don't have the linkedin profile then make sure that you create it add multiple uh, professional net, uh, people in that network but linkedin profile should be there and it is going to help you then in the left portion if you'll see in this you are going to show your skills so here highlight all the important skills what you have like for example let's say currently you are working on s1 ana application so that you are going to show if you have previous experience on ecc that you are going to show as i prepared this resume from the user point of view so whatever the important things are in user point of view those i have highlighted similarly consulting point of view it will be different so anyone from the development point of view don't refer this particular resume that i will address separately so all the important areas what you already you have that skill make sure that you you are going to add so here i have added couple of things which are very very important from the recruiter point of view because what happened the hr person who is going to search your resume or they are going to match your request they are not the technical person whatever the information they have received from their operation manager or from their client they are just going to add the same things from the requirement point of view as a keyword in their application in their ats and in your resume make sure that whatever they have mentioned or whatever they are looking here so you have to add some probability so you need to add those informations if both the things are going to match with each other then definitely your resume will be shortlisted so make sure that all the important skills whatever you have you are going to mention each and everything like if you see here what are the important like month and closing activity so in month and closing activity is not one activity under month and actually closing activity we are performing various activities whether it is related to p2p o2c r2r so that means you are saying that i have a good knowledge on the month and closing activities because their requirement person should have month and good good in the month and closing activities then in interview if you are going to ask the questions related to month and question month and closing activities from different profile that time you are going to explain in detail but in resume don't show everything month and closing related to receivable payable all these things no need to explain like let's say there are 20 t codes are there no need to mention everything unnecessary your resume will be lengthy similarly reconciliation so particularly if you are from the r to r team reconciliation is very very important so that also you are going to add so make sure that that you are going to add in the skill segment then summary should be there in the right segment if you'll see summary should be there 
then your achievements that achievement you are going to show in a such a way that it should be professionalism it will show as professionalism like here i have given something like uh, we with an internal audit score of that 100 percent accuracy that means when your uh, because every process they are having the, their internal audit system so when your work is monitored by the audit team so like you have achieved 100 percent so it is a benchmark you have set you have scored 100 percent in last quarter or last month like this you can show here or you did something you uh, developed some process or you are part of a process so that is reduced this much cost for the business point of view so some initial like some uh, highlight or noted achievements you are going to show here in the equipment segment so this is your achievement so you are going to show there for example let's say you are the quad, um, employee of the quarter that you are going to show here like you can see help to reduce the department cost by 10 percent then in interview they are going to ask like what you did so how the cost is reduced 10 percent that time you are going to uh, explain in detail but you important points you are going to head so in the left side you are going to scale if i'm going to just have a look into this particular resume then i can say that okay this person is having these are the skills so it is going to suit with my requirement similarly i can see that this person having some achievements also till now it's a general information till now whatever i have shown here it is general information it is nothing related to your current profile or it is nothing related to your previous profile coming to the next so it is uh, in, I prepared in the PPT form, but on continuous synthesis, that means it is the first page data only next coming to the next segment. So in the left segment, so that means in your resume, right segment, you are going to show your experience and in left segment, you are showing that your education and training. And when you are going to show the education, uh, particularly related to uh, professional education, so that means that you are going to show top. For example, let's say recently you have completed SAP certification, so that you are going to show in the first because your interviewer is not interested how much you scored in your 12th exam, how much you have scored in the 10th exam. So those information no need to show there. Like professional certifications, you did something that you are going to show. Or for example, let's say in MBA finance, you have completed like your uh, uh, percentage that you can show. That means the most highest of like recognition what you have that you are going to show here. And particularly in this segment, to be honest, recruiter point of view, they are more interested in your professional qualification than your academic, like your school, colleges, those information they are not looking. Right? So that you are going to highlight here. If you have some multiple certification, definitely add all those things in the education and training. Or recently, let's say you have completed some training, highlight those things also. Recently, I have completed uh, FICO configuration. So that in, they can think for you if they have some requirement related to MDM team. Although they are going to hire you from the SAP analyst point of view, but they can consider that you, as you have knowledge of the configuration, so they can fit into the MDM team. Or if they have a support role there, they can fit. So that's why always highlight all your recent recent uh, trainings whatever you have completed then in the right segment your actual experience so for example here i have taken one r2r record to report and it is accenture profile so that's why in accenture the uh, designation is operation and list so that's why i have taken that one then you are going to show the time that means from which month then year to which month year a date and on uh, date not required just you are going to show month for example let's say you are working in this particular profile since last 2020 so you are going to show february 2020 to present if you are still continuing on that particular job then your company name whatever the company currently you are working and if possible add the city and make sure that check this uh, red portion whenever you are going to work for a particular client for example let's say you are part of or you are working for right now for accenture as business analyst but you are not working you are in the company point of view you are working for accenture but you are handling one particular account okay for example let's say you are working or handling the account honeywell so that means you are going to explain here for which client or for which account right now you are working so you will say that i'm working for Accenture that you already have mentioned, but I'm handling the account or I'm handling the client Honeywell. So in Honeywell, so many departments are there. So which one you are going to highlight? So give two, three line information about your account or your client information. So you are saying that I am part of your reconciliation team of Honeywell. Accenture, but on behalf of Honeywell, you are working. Then you are going to mention all your experience. Again, this can't be standardized. As for your job profile, as for your experience, those things you are going to highlight here. And whatever your important areas you are handling, those important areas you are going to keep in top. Because whenever someone is going to look into your resume, so they can 
address and uh, it should not be like any fancy word fancy letter should not be there it should be very easily like it should be visible it prepare in that way right so you can see here uh, i have mentioned all the important areas so that means it is you are working as record report but here i have uh, uh, like i am doing the reconciliation i am also doing gri reconciliation also uh, uh, maybe in that particular profile i added bit uh, ap part because right now you are working on r2r but you have the knowledge on the payable part also you can see here ap invoice processing i have the knowledge po uh, invoice non po invoices so that if there is a requirement of procurement they are also going to consider your profile because you have mixed both the things right so that you are going to here or maybe right now you are working r2r before like three months four months six months before you are doing something you have to tweak in this area you have to show in a such a way that your resume will be shortlisted by maximum recruiters right so that is that's why i said that it can't be standardized it should be one-to-one -one. it should be customized so that that should be there so in in this area you are going to play with your profile in such a way that it should be or it look like very very attractive similarly if i will take another one so this one is related to one finance profile if and we, we can say so this one is basically uh, for example if we are going to consider this profile so same information for which company you are working for which account you are going to work and all your important areas you are going to have so this is another profile so in this area you are exactly going to show what currently you are doing or what was your previous experience so make sure that whatever the experience you have you are going to show let's say five years experience you have on these areas or four years experience you have. actually your recruiter is not looking for very old profile they are mostly going to check in detail your current profile and your previous profile if they will find that those profiles are good or it is matching with their requirement then you will get the interview call so if you don't know anything then how to get it so you learn it simple logic if you don't know anything you first learn it right so i already prepared so many videos in my channel so if you go to my youtube channel here you can see different playlists are there so these are the different playlist but these three playlists one is r to r process o2c and p2p so in every profile or sorry in every playlist you will get a couple of uh, videos and i i'm trying to add multiple videos in all areas so if if you have any like any list is there can mail me so that it will be easy for me to prepare those videos from the user point of view but make sure that uh, you need to prepare your resume uh, as per the recruiter's requirement so as i said 30 percent questions from your resume 70 percent questions you will get from the job descriptions right so in every profile job descri job descriptions are there and you need to thoroughly study or you need to read all the requirements and accurate like for example let's say here knowledge of sap is must if someone is not having sap knowledge they are not going to consider right so there is a requ requirement of uh, reconciliation skill then 100 percent that skill should be there right so once you will go through all these details then you will get the idea how you need to prepare the resume and don't just copy paste you get the resume from friend and just save as don't do that you prepare resume your resume thoroughly as per your skill then definitely you are going to get the results so if any feedback anything please mail me because uh, uh, on the basis of your feedback uh, i will add in my next video or anything i missed please let me know so i hope uh, it will help you when you are going to prepare your resume